back to the video show. It's Bob the Rock with Mark and JJ a fight. And Bobby Diablo is chilling out on the side there. I'm just hanging out. I'm going to learn something here for a change. <laughs> so. so, Mark, you got some beautiful guitars Yeah, here. we got some fucking, uh, can I say that? Get fiddles <laughs> here. <laughs> Anyhow, check it. Les Paul, 70s. Pretty nice. Another one here. There we go. This one's the, the metal guitar right here. If you're a Pantera fan, this is the uh, yeah, yeah. Dimebag Daryl model. They haven't made these in about 10 years, but she's a beauty. Check it. What big bands have used the guitar like that? Um, the yeah. Cars, the guy in the Cars like had one, and uh, I think Heart. But uh, other than that, you know, full on metal assault right there, you know. So which one's your favorite to use on tour? Uh, I'm going to say this one right here. It's a little bit newer, Les Paul. Pickups, very silent. Nice. So uh, how'd you guys hook up? You and Fight and uh... uh... Well, Jay was already in it, but I joined like a year and a half ago. Their guitar player quit and I just got lucky and got in. And well, and the like story. We toured with Anthrax. I joined on the Anthrax tour, and then we went out with uh, Metallica and uh, Suicidal Tendencies and uh, Candlebox. About thirty to fifty thousand a night. Huge shows, all outdoors. There you go. Cool. So you were on the Anthrax tour. Yeah. I remember catching that at Roseland. In yeah, New York, New York Roseland. Bad show. Something. Excellent. Really good. And uh, what about you, JJ? How'd you hook up with Fire? Oh, oh, don't mind the crap on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Joe just stepped on a nail. We'll give him a shot later. Yeah. <laughs> I met Rob, uh, I've done most of his tattoo work, so I met him at the tattoo shop here in town when I moved down here. Excellent. Yeah. You've been doing a lot of tattooing in the uh, music industry. Music industry, industry yeah. Know. Yeah, I've been like uh, doing work like on Sebastian and Carrie King from Slayer. I've done all his work on his head. So yeah, that's going really well. So if any of y'all want a tattoo, come down and see me, HTC. I'll hook y'all up. <laughs> you know, I want to ask both of you. You mentioned like you get on stage with 30 to 50,000 people screaming and having a good time. What is that? I mean, I have no concept of what that's like. It's crazy. It's just like a sea of people. It's like, whoosh, it's all you see. Yeah. It's, it's a weird feeling. It's killer, though. It's just like Definitely. Ener energize you and you just yeah. Yeah, it's, play really cool. And the bigger the show, the better. It always, you'll ask any musician or anything. It's just exhilarating. It's great. Wow, well, I man, I wish I kept my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like these guys now, you know. And just well, we could stop practicing, you know. Uh, I think it's a little late for me. <laughs> Maybe the geese and slaws or something are hiring. You know? Never know. Cool. I want to know something bizarre that's happened to you while you're giving a show. Ooh. During a show? During, during a show, during behind show. the backstage, something like and that. You know, the girls show. just always, you know, see them on the backstage on the side, and you know, the looks he going on now and then. People throw like, uh, should I say, cigarettes or paraphernalia? Uh, yeah, yeah there you go. the smoking, <laughs> the smoking stuff. We get a lot of that, especially with my mic stand bongs. They they see that bong, and they know what to do. Anything that just totally freaked you out? Uh, takes quite a bit to freak us out. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, wow. You just look down in the pit and people are getting bloody and it's just like, phew, you know, glad I ain't that yeah. guy, you know. Being in New York, some dude hit his head on a monitor, bit his bottom lip off. Oh my God. He's just hanging there. I was, it was crazy. Wow. I think I might have been one of those bloody guys once. Yeah. They're all bigger than me out there. That's all good, you know. Hey man, that's rock and roll. That's, 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 that's rock and roll right rock there. Roll. You know? <laughs> crazy, crazy shit. Well, check it out. That's uh, crazy rock and roll stuff and some, some killer guitars, and I learned a thing or two, and it's like how much I wish I was a rock star. But... Let's do a uh, Sepultura video here. How about that? Some more Sepultura. Some more. <laughs> some more. Some more. We, we played one already, but we'll play another one. We'll play another one. Rock. Come on. Wow. We'll play another one for yeah. us. Yeah. You can do it. Does. We'll be over at Paulo's eating that Brazilian cookout <laughs> this weekend. Pinga. 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 Oh, that's, that's a Is that for pig or something? No, it's pinga, it's a drink. It's like tequila. 
Uh, Paulo's always busting that out and getting everybody drunk with it <laughs> over at his place. Yeah. Oh, you got to. All right, KSR video, learning more than you really should know. So, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. I should remember that, I take Portuguese. Like.